Hello CIS 105 or BPC 110 students. I just wanted to share a short video with you that explains the difference between the Office 365 online version and the desktop version. Because in your SimNet projects, when you're doing your homework assignments, you're going to want to make sure you're using the desktop version. Okay, so for instance, if I type in um, my browser URL here, office.com, it's going to bring up this interface. And this is the Office 365 online interface. And I can open up, the, open up the Word online version here and then open up a blank document. And it'll look like this. Okay, you've got a menu. You've got a home menu with the uh, options for uh, fonts and so forth. Um, but it's a lot more limited than the desktop version. So there's a couple ways that you can open it in the desktop version. One is if you've got it installed on your desktop, you can click on your start menu and your office application should be right here and you can open it up here. But if you're already in the uh, online version and you want to open it in the desktop version, you can also click on this editing button and select open in desktop. And then it'll open it up in the desktop version. Okay. And that'll look like this. Um, so if we look at the, uh, um, this is the online version again, and then versus the desktop version. There it is. Okay, you can see the difference in the menus. Right here on the Home tab in the Font section, you've got all of these options, um, which are some of the same options, but um, they're not all the same. It doesn't look the same as what I show when I'm demonstrating projects in the videos. And it causes a lot of confusion when students are trying to do their homework in the Office 365 online version, which is this one. Okay, so make sure you're using the desktop version. Um, again, that is, uh, you can get, get access to it by clicking on your start menu. If you've got it installed, you'll, you'll have to have it installed on your desktop. As a student at Chandler Gilbert, you're entitled to a free subscription to the Office applications. And I'll include a uh, link to that in a message that I sent to you. So, okay. So hopefully that helps and helps prevent you from having the frustration of trying to do your assignment and seeing something completely different than what's being demonstrated in my videos. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.